Hey, it's Tracy. How's everybody doing on this Thursday afternoon? Tracy, how's everybody doing on this? Just want to make sure that I can hear myself. Say hello as you come in. I was working on a wreath and uh, trying to work on the sign. And um, I said, you know, why don't I just put on, you know, my phone, put on the on the camera and I'll just craft it with y'all. Um, how's everybody doing? Hey, thanks for being here. Uh, I'm going to uh, share how I'm going to use some things that I already have and uh, make a sign for a wreath that I made. Hi, everyone. Thanks for coming in. If you, um, I sent out the text to my, you know, my uh, texting group and uh, said, hey, I'm going live at 315. And uh, also I put a message on my page. That's what I'm going to try to do. Because 2022 um, is going to be a little bit different. Uh, I'm still going to be crafting, but I'm just kind of trying to figure things out to better, you know. Hi, Sue. Thanks for being here. Good afternoon to you, too. And uh, I'm just trying to figure out the best mix for me. So, hi. Hi, Jackie. Hi, sweet lady to you. So, um, I put a message on my page and I uh, sent out a uh, and a, um, a text message to my group. And if you want to join my group, like for text alerts, 979-316-7944. Um, now this is just say join and I'll add you to, I have Facebook and I also have YouTube, but the majority of, of my friends want both anyway and so if I send you one and you don't want it just delete the text or whatever but I don't want anyone to miss out either one Facebook or YouTube and uh but once I you know post to those or when I'm going to go live here or when I post on YouTube I will let you know anyway 979-316-7944 Four, four. Yes, and I also put it in the message as well. Thanks for being here. Hi, Karen. Happy, happy new year to you. Okay, so I um, went to, um, I've been trying to make some Valentine wreaths because for the gift shop that I designed for, they wanted some Valentine wreaths. I took a couple of them over there today, and so I have a couple of more that I'm working on, and so this is, is one of them, and so um, that's one of the, the things that I want to talk about is, you know, I've been trying to like do read tutorials and put them on my YouTube channel. But honestly, guys, they take a lot of work, you know, just to film them. And I, I say this only because I do the same process. I do the same method. I feel like I'm repeating myself all of the time. Hi, Denise. Hi, how are you? Hey, hey, girl. Paula, thanks. If it's your first time here, welcome. Um, I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Tracy. I craft here at Country Charm by Tracy. And uh, I love to share crafty ideas with a bit of rustic country charm. That's kind of like my little tagline kind of thing. Thanks for being here, guys. Okay. So, um, you know, I, I design reads for a gift shop. They, I, it, you know, we have a deal. They they take them. They they sell them for whatever they want, and uh, it's just a special relationship that that we have. And so it's just a way for me. I didn't set out to start doing reads. They had asked me, <laughs> and so reads take up a lot of my time. And honestly, on YouTube, they don't get. I I know I have my wreath makers, but they don't get as quite as many views as my crafting does. And crafting is really my heart, painting and just putting little floral, floral, floral arrangements together and stuff like that. Hi, Maria, first time watching. Welcome, I'm so glad that you're all here. Anyway, so um, I know someone may ask, did I film a video? I did not because I use the same process that I do on almost all of my videos. And so what I did is I have these, um, I have a couple more of these tin red tinsel frames that I got from Walmart. Now this wasn't this year, it was maybe, I don't know, a couple of years ago and I got them like dirt cheap they were they were cheap already they were 468 and then I got it I'm even thinking like 75% off and uh so anyway 
I, I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking, you know, um, do I want to like maybe craft signs, you know, that I can show the different signs that I do instead of doing the, doing the whole wreath tutorial because I do the same process. Like I put my mesh on the same way. I, I cut my ribbons the same length. You know, I just change up the ribbons and that kind of thing. Hi, Denise. Happy dots are my fave along you saying Hobby Lobby. Oh my goodness. Do you know, Denise, that I'm getting a Hobby Lobby in my hometown? <laughs> it is almost too good to be true. Too good to be true. Anyway, so um, speaking of Hobby Lobby, yes, we are getting a uh, Hobby Lobby in my hometown. They have talked about it for a little bit you know, for a few years and then it fell through and stuff, whatever, whatever. And so anyway, that's what I wanted to share is because I wanted to make a sign for this wreath that I did. I just put like 10 inch mesh on this wreath and I cut my ribbons at um, 13 inches. And then the, that's the two and a half inch. I cut it at 13 inches and then my one and a half, I cut it 12 inches. And so I kind of like, I feel like it's repetitive, and uh, so anyway, so I thought that I would maybe just pop on and do signs and different things with you, and just, you know, refer people over to my YouTube channel if they want to learn how to make wreaths or buy a style of wreaths kind of thing. Hey, hey, Esther, my sweet longtime friend. Hi, Melissa, you love my shirt? Girl, I got this from Walmart a couple of years ago. Anyway, I love it as well. It's very comfortable. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, so um, I'm going to make a sign. So I thought that you could, um, I'm going to also do the iron-on method for putting on the Mod Podge. And so I wanted to share that with you. I've been using that for a couple of times and I really like it. Hey, Jackie. Uh, yes, Jackie. Um, yes, I, I can't believe it you know, that I'm going to have a Hobby Lobby near me. Like the nearest one to me is 45 minutes away. Either way, like I have to go like toward Houston, which is in the Cypress area, which is on the outskirts. That's 45 minutes. And then Bryan College Station is 45 minutes. And so it's going to be so good. Anyway, so um, I'm going to make a sign for this wreath and I'm going to do this paper. And so I just wanted to share... It came out of this paper pack, the WJB. Now, the last time I was at Hobby Lobby, I saw this. So that's why I'm sharing where the paper pack is. Because honestly, when I watch, you know, paper tutorials or like this, I'm like, where did you get that paper? What pack did it come from? <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to I'm gonna do the iron-on method with the Mod Podge. I don't know if y'all have seen that. I'm sure y'all have. I'm always late to the party. Like... You know, different techniques and different the different trends and different things, you know, I'm like, oh, well, why haven't I been doing that? Anyway, so I want to share that I that oh my little my little heat uh, mini heat press I have heated up for my um you know to put my Mod Podge on and uh, I guess it's beeping like don't forget about me. <laughs> anyway, so another thing is I pulled this uh, it's a galvanized heart with the tin and the heart. Hey, Patty. Yes, I'm looking forward to us having a Hobby Lobby too. Oh my goodness, it's going to be so great. Anyway, so I'm trying to use up some of the things that I have because I am a, cr a craft supply hoarder. <laughs> and it's only because of my craft show days that like because the craft stores were so far and uh, I would have to like stock up on a lot of things because I didn't have easy access to it. And so now I'm trying to get out of that um, habit of you do not need to do that. You don't need to do that anymore because you're going to have it here with you. All right. So um, the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, put my Mod Podge on because that is going to have, have to dry. And uh, so I just have uh, just some Mod Podge and <clears throat> I'm just going to, oh, I guess I need a to protect my my table it's seen all kind of stuff so I hope everyone is having a great day um, I am 
my son, my uh, 15 year old, he's my freshman. Uh, he, he had an orthodontist appointment today. And uh, so it was at like 1230. So I went to pick him up. Anyway, so the orthodontist told us today that he uh, we made the appointment to take off his braces, uh, which is going to be in March. And so we're so excited because he has had to get braces three years ago. He's had braces for three years at the end of this month. And it's because he had an anterior uh, crossbite. And so it was affecting his eating and it was affecting like his jaw, his bottom jaw was um, longer than his, than his top one. And so, you know, as he got, you know, like, I could kind of tell when he was eating and stuff like that. I was like, your jaw doesn't look right. But I wasn't thinking, you know, that, oh, you have you have an, uh, a problem. So anyway, when we went to the dentist, um, you know, they had mentioned that we probably wanted to see an orthodontist just to kind of get it checked out. Hey, Tracy, hello to you, my fellow Tracy twin. Just taking my heat gun and gonna try dry this up a bit. What I'm doing is I'm going to do the iron on message. Thanks, Wanda. I got this at uh, at Walmart a couple of years ago, and it's so comfortable. It's um, long sleeve, but it's not uh, like a sweatshirt material. It's more of a t-shirt material. And uh, so I love it because here, uh, here in my area of Texas, it's kind of warmed up a bit, but it's supposed to get cold again this, this summer, this summer, this weekend. <laughs> anyway, and I am going to have to let that dry because I should have, hi, hello, Alexa from San Antonio, Texas. I'm in Brenham, which is not too far from you. Uh, anyway, I should have traced out my heart already. I didn't do that, but that's okay. I will do that once that dries. But um, I, I had picked up a few of these. I don't know if it was last year or maybe the season before when Hobby Lobby had them, like when they go on sale after the season. I could only get this white one, um, you know, because I'm sure the red and the pink were already gone. And But that is okay because I am going to use my primary red Americana paint. Hello, Campbell. Debbie, Danny, oh, that must be your last name. Hi from Ohio. I'm so glad that you're here. So I'm just going to uh, be painting this heart uh, red uh, because I want it to be red. And I'm just using some just acrylic paint. Oh, thanks, Denise. Denise says she sprinkled out for me um, or spread the charm. That's kind of like my thing. And thank you for reminding me because I didn't even remember to say that. If you think you have someone or you want to save this video to watch later, just spread the charm out to your friends uh, in the groups that are like uh, open to the public where you can, you know, uh, share videos and that kind of thing. So I am going to just paint this red because even though the white is pretty, um, I didn't see that. Let's see. I, I, I didn't catch your comment. Sometimes the comments go by so fast. And I will go back later and read everything. So if you ask a question and I don't answer it, it's not because I'm ignoring you. I... Just um, didn't see it. Julie says, any idea when the Brenham Hobby Lobby will be open? Well, no, I haven't seen any like date or anything, uh, but they have like, there's like, um, oops, got some red on there. Uh, 
you know, like the front of the store, the scaffolding and that kind of thing. So it's like every day I have to go by there when I take my, I drop my son off at high school and then I go around the highway to drop my grandson off and uh, I go right by there. So every day I'm like, put that sign up. I did see the, like the sign, you know, by the side of the road that says coming soon Hobby Lobby. And it's like, oh my gosh, it's just, it's honestly guys, this is just really a dream come true because Hobby Lobby is like honestly if if you if you say okay you out of all the stores you can only pick one store Tracy one store that's it Every, everything goes away Hobby Lobby would be it or Hobby Lobby and uh <laughs> it's so funny because every time um I say it like that because I would say Hobby Lobby so repeatedly so many times um I had just got like tired of myself saying it so I started being funny and saying habe labe you know just to be funny uh and so you know I was getting some negative comments like I hate the way you say that you sound so ghetto and I'm like really this was on my YouTube channel uh this was not here but I'm like really come on Lo loosen up and have some fun <laughs> <laughs> oh yes Denise Habe labe. okay so what I did is I just uh, painted it a couple of coats of the primary red acrylic paint I'm just gonna leave the the white on the sides because I like the different um, you know the different depth and textures and all of that kind of thing so I'm making a sign for a wreath and uh, so this is all dry now. So what I did is I, this is just a wooden heart that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm thinking this was in the Crafter Square section. This is not the um, ones that they have for actual Valentine's Day. I guess we need to say a do dollar, dollar 125, huh? Interesting. I agree. Okay, Liza says, I agree. Oh yes, Hobby Lobby, 100%. Okay. So, um, I'm, I, from my last live, when I had shared a Dollar Tree haul, um, there were a lot of people that said their Dollar Trees were still a dollar. So, I'm curious to know, is there a lot of people, um, y'all like the white on the sides too? I do. I just, I like the way that it looks, you know? And, uh, you know, Hobby Lobby in my hometown is not open yet, so I'm not driving 45 minutes away. And then, you know, just to get the one with the red heart, and then they'd be out. Um, or that's silly to drive all that way. Anyway, so I'm like, just paint it. <laughs> just paint it. So, um, all right. Yeah, buck and a quarter tree. Okay, so uh, this wood heart, I think, came from the Crafter Square section. And so I'm liking that. Dollar one twenty five. We're still going to call it Dollar Tree, of course. We're just having fun with that. But um, I'm I'm glad that they kind of have those wood cutouts available to us at all times. And uh, what am I? Why do I have a pen? I don't want that. I just grabbed the first thing. Thanks so much for being here. So yes, there's a lot of stuff that. Um, now I'll be honest with you. I am a craft supply hoarder. And um, I was, I am trying to purge and kind of like stuff that I know I'm never going to do anything with to donate it, uh, give away or something like that. And uh, so now what I'm doing is this paper, I'm just trying to line up. I'm, have, I'm a stickler for that. Uh, thanks, Lisa. Congratulations on your new Hobby Lobby. It really is a dream come true. It really is because I never ever thought that our little small town would get one. Um, I'm just trying to line up the paper like the stripes the best that I can. I don't know. It's just kind of like a mind thing. So that's the reason why I don't draw it on the back. Uh, Anyway, this paper came out of a pack, WJB. I showed it at the beginning of the of my live. So if you're curious, uh, you know, sometimes the things that are in uh, paper packs, Hobby Lobby will sell, or we can find them by the single sheets as well. But, you know, sometimes I know myself, I really like to know, you know, when I see my favorite crafters craft with 
paper. <laughs> I'm like, I love that paper. Where did you get that? You know, and so I know, you know, sometimes I do tend to repeat myself and then sometimes I will watch back and go, I will start a sentence and then I never finish the thought. So I apologize if that happens. Anyway, so uh, see like here, my heart, I don't know it, you know, like in the middle, I had it where it all, where it just looks even. Okay. Fredericksburg Dollar Tree had prices raised a couple of weeks ago. Okay. So I think the majority of the Texas ones are uh, $1.25, I think. My little <clears throat> Cricut Mini Press, my little Cricut Mini Press, <laughs> I had it heated up, but I guess I didn't use it, so then it cut off on me. All right. So then now what I'm doing is I'm going to let that, because it has little, these little orange lights on it. And uh, when it's ready to go, it's going to turn green. So I'm doing the iron on Mod Podge method. Have y'all tried that? I know I asked that a while ago, but I didn't see. <clears throat> Marilyn, I just donated to my uh, Goodwill, um, you know, and... Yeah, I just take a, we have a, a thrift store here that does good. And so I just, you know, take it to that and they can resell it or give it away or give it to preschools or community groups or stuff like that. Perfect paper cut you got, but even, or it looks off. Okay. Uh, anyway, so, okay, this is ready to go. So what I did is I put a, a coat of Mod Podge on and I let it dry. I hit it with my heat tool, but then it's now it's completely dry. So I'm going to use, I'm going to put this paper on here to adhere it. And, uh, you know, I've been using Mod Podge for many years and, you know, the wet, wet Mod Podge and uh, so I had some, and this is right, this is parchment paper. This right here is parchment paper. Uh, I've also seen crafters use tissue paper, and I had, uh, I saw someone else use a paper bag, you know, so that's just an idea. Um, okay, Jackie, well, well, you're learning something new today. I, once I tried this, guys, I loved it. I loved it. I'm like, I'm not ever going to do Mod Podge a different way. <laughs> <laughs> on wood, on wood. Okay, so I'm just putting, lining up my my paper on my wooden part. And then this is just parchment paper. So I lay it on. Oh, I, I see Pamela says, no, it looks perfect. It looks off if you don't line it up. Gotcha, girl. Gotcha. Okay, so... Then I I just, a lot of people have little mini irons, um, which I don't. I have my little mini Cricut press. And so uh, this is what I do is just kind of, you know, I take my time. Actually, I love this. You know, I just kind of go in a circular motion. I don't know if, if there's a right or wrong way. I just make sure that I go around the edges and uh, I probably should have pulled out my little pad. Hi, hi, Debbie Kay. How are you doing? We're just crafting up a sign for a Valentine wreath that, um, I don't know if you're new to me, I do make wreaths for a local, uh, a local gift shop. It's a special relationship that we have. And so I do design wreaths for them. And uh, I take them to them. And uh, they sell them in their gift shop. And so they are asking for some uh, or have asked for some. So I've been busy working on them. And so I don't have a chance to like film the whole wreath only because I, I just feel that it's repetitive. Oh, yes, girl. I love my Cricut. I am a Cricut girl. I have been since 2009. And... Um, you know, I just, okay, so for those of you who do not know me, uh, my name is Tracy, and I have been crafting here for many years. 
God has blessed me with these talents. He's given me these talents. And so I have been sharing with them on my YouTube channel. And then, um, hi, Karen, first time watching. I'm so glad that you're here. And uh, welcome anyone and everyone who's watching. Okay, so this is how my heart is finished. And uh, so honestly, as, as many years as I have been crafting, as many years as I have been cutting, I never get it perfect. I don't. <laughs> and so I only share that to say, if, uh, if, if you may be new to crafting and yours is not perfect, it's okay. You know, just kind of, we've kind of like, the more we craft, I just have a sanding block. I'm just sanding off because I have this one area. And I don't know why that is, wow, that is just like, I don't know if I need a new sanding block. You know, sometimes, I don't know if we're not holding our tongue the right way or we're not <laughs> holding our mouth. I just have a nail file here. Sometimes I get better. Oh, yeah, see, that's coming off. Maybe I... Yeah, get. Uh, I have some more sanding, uh, sanding sponges in there, and so I guess that's. It didn't. Ha I guess it was all like uh, rubbed off. Anyway, so this is just a regular nail file that you get in the uh, like you know finger uh, nail polish section at Dollar Tree, Dollar One Twenty Five Tree, uh, and so I like to use it for when I I just sand little. You know, like if I get the paper a little too over, that kind of thing. So anyway, this is our heart. Um, we're making a sign for a wreath. I just put mesh and ribbon on this wreath today. And so it's going to be going to the gift shop that um, that they resell them and that kind of thing. This is a heart that is from Hobby Lobby. And it was white. It was this color white and so I wanted it to be red so and I haven't even taken the price tag off so I wanted it to be red and so I just painted it I just painted it with just uh, acrylic paint and uh, so we're going to you know this is, I did the Mod Podge method, the heat Mod Podge method to um, attach it and it's on there good. And so I am so appreciative to even as long as I have been crafting, um, I welcome constructive criticism or suggestions. Uh, I am a-okay with that. It's just um, when I get the comments of, why did you do that that way? Why did you use that color? Um, don't share Cricut videos. Not everybody has a Cricut machine, you know, and just blatantly almost, she was so disrespectful, just said, um, and I'm, I know I'm going off, you know, on the little tangent and I don't mean to, but uh, I do welcome constructive criticism or, you know, uh, suggestions. And so a friend had shared, hey, have you tried the Mod Podge method? I mean, the uh, heat heat method and uh i was so appreciative because i had not tried it so i love it so much hey guys oh thanks denise okay so for my sides this is my little parchment paper that i have and put that up save it for another time okay Oh, thank you, Jackie. Welcome everyone who's here. Um, so I should have painted the side of my heart, but I totally forgot and which I could now, but that's okay because I just have some just distress ink. This is what it looks like. And I get that, um, off of Amazon or either I have it uh, or I get it in the craft store and so I'm just giving this just a, a, a bit of color it doesn't matter if it's solid or not and then I'm gonna go around the edges and so um, anyway back to the Cricut thing um, I retired from my day job last July 
So July um, 31st of 2021. Oh, thank you, Debbie. You're sweet. And um, God has blessed me with these talents. He's blessed me with a wonderful husband and family who is so supportive. And they're, they're like, you know, they, they are. They're just so supportive. And so I am a full-time crafter now. And uh, I get to share my talents and gifts that the Lord has given to me um, with so many people. And uh, I do that. I'm going to do it here more on my Facebook page. And then also I do have a YouTube channel. Um, if you just look my name, Tracy Wellman, two L's, two N's, or Craft Junkie 2, or Country Charm by Tracy. Um, the reason I have so many names, what I'm doing now is I have my black Sharpie marker, who is my best friend. And uh, I'm just going to do some doodles. I love my doodles. I love my happy dots. Oh, thanks, Terry. You're sweet. Love my doodles and my happy dots, which is uh, the little dots I put on the ends of my letters. And uh, I do like to hand letter when I'm doing signs and different crafts like that. Uh, so this is how our heart looks. Um, what I did is I just took the Distress ink. And because uh, I'm country, um, I, yes, Denise, doodle time. I'm country. I love my happy dots. I love torn edges. I love uh, splatters. Paint splatters are one of my things too. And I know it's old school, but I don't care. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, anyway, so let's see what we got here. I'm going to have to do some paint splatters. Yes, I am. So I'm going to have to get, um, I'm going to have to get my black paint. And uh, so, hmm. Thanks, Jennifer. Yes. Okay, guys, I know I have this blue shirt on and I have pink shorts on. So <laughs> y'all can laugh at me. I'm like, oh, nobody's going to see my pink shorts, you know, uh, but y'all did anyway. <laughs> um, that's why I didn't get up to um, get my, my black paint to paint around the sides because I'm like, no, I have a blue and white shirt on with pink shorts. But now you have to see my pink shorts. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay. Um all right. So when I paint splatter, hi, hi, Patricia. Thanks so much. She said, I enjoy all of your crafts. Um, when I paint splatter, what I do is uh, just have a stiff stencil brush. And I just have just, it's just black paint. And so uh, those of you that have been with me for a while, you've seen me do this. Uh, that's what I do. I, I, I like the same style. <laughs> I do and so um, I just have just a stencil brush because it's just my preference but there are a lot of people that like um, a toothbrush or they I've seen them do it with their fingers I can't do it with the thing my fingers I don't know it gets too messy anyway so I make sure that my uh, table is covered and if you can't see just swipe the comments to the right or the left however and then um, you know those will be out of your way thanks Tracy I'm so glad that y'all are here and I'm so grateful. I say that all of the time and I say that humbly. The, the Lord has given me the this platform in order to share the gifts and talents that he's given to me. Um, and so that's what we are called to do. We all have a purpose. And um, so right now he's given me the opportunity to, you know, do this stuff. Thanks, Ten. Thank you so much. And so that's what I did. I have black splatters on now. And uh, I usually do black first. I was, I was thinking that I got some paint on there. Uh, and then I go back and I do white. I do it in that order because, um, I don't know, it's just kind of what I do. <laughs> Well, I used to use the same brush 
and uh, now I use two different brushes, but um, I like the, the white to be on top of the black. And, uh, and then also when I would use the same brush, I wouldn't rinse it out or swoosh it enough and it would come out gray. And I'm like, oh, don't do that. Uh, so anyway, then now I'm just going back and doing white. So I hope that everyone is having a great beginning of, um, of your new year. This doesn't show up very good, but you know, it just kind of like makes me feel good because I know that they're there. So I'm also taking my heart and I'm just going to put some white splatters. I've been doing this for a long time and uh, I don't say that to be bragging. I only say that to be, I've learned how to control my splatters, if that makes sense. And, uh, oh, thank you. Well, thanks, Pamela. Um, that's what I was going to say. I don't say this to be bragging. I say this only as encouragement um, that I've been doing it for so long that I kind of learned how to control my splatters. And, uh, but I always cover my area around with either placemats or paper or something like that. Okay. So then, um, I think I want to hit this with my heat again, just a little. And I do like to um, add some shading around my projects. I do like to paint and uh, craft. So um, I'm just taking, I just have this Distress Ink I used uh, a few minutes ago on my heart. And I'm just going around the edges of this heart just to give it some depth. Just give it a little depth. Just give it just a just a little bit of, of black kind of outline kind of thing. Oh, I know first spl paint splatters were awful. Guys, you know, I've been crafting for many years. My grandson, who is seven, um, he asked me, how long have I been crafting? And so I had to think about it uh, because his dad is 25. He just turned 25. And um, yes, he was a young dad, uh, but God is good. God is good, let me tell you. Uh, anyway, so I said, well, Fanny's been, that's my grandma name, Fanny. Uh, Fanny's been crafting for, you know, I was pregnant with your dad when I started my first craft show with my good friend, Debbie. Um, sometimes she'll pop on here. Thanks, Jennifer. Uh, Sometimes she'll pop on my lives and say hello if she catches me. Uh, anyway, so we started our first craft show when he, when I was pregnant with him. So I guess I've been, you know, crafting for 25 years plus. Uh, and he was like, he's like, that's a long time. I'm like, yes, I know. Anyway, so I have my black Sharpie marker. This is my best friend right here. Thanks for the heart, guys. And if you're spreading the charm, I love you. Love you so much. Uh, that's kind of my thing, my... Uh, you know, Paige is Country Charm by Tracy. So I uh, thank you for spreading the charm. So what you'll find with me if you're new here or if you're, you know, been with me for a while is I go above, I mean, I don't want to say above and beyond. I go extra. Like, I can never just like leave something alone like this. I have to put my doodles and I have to put my paint splatters. I can't just like do it, which you can, but I'm just saying for me, I'm like, oh no, I want to, I want to put some paint splatters on there. I want to put some doodles on there. Anyway, so that's what I'm doing now to this. I'm going to put some doodles and um, I just go around with my, this is the fine point Sharpie marker. Um, guys, if you have, if you didn't hear me or you didn't see my, uh, text alert, if you would like to know the next time I go live, I'll send a 
if you would like to join my text alert, 979-316-7944, just say join. I'll add you to my group and send out a message when I go live. Okay, so then also, I gotta do it. I have to do it. All right. I'm just using some white acrylic paint also, and I have a uh, just a... A fine brush just a you know just like a liner brush <laughs> yeah just just keep at your if you want to learn how to paint uh, or if you want to learn how to hand letter that kind of thing anyway so what I'm doing is just you know just getting a little bit of paint on my brush and I'm just gonna go around and uh, like I call it doodling because like my lines are not connected together they're just kind of wonky <laughs> and uh, I just kind of go around my uh, kind of like outline of my project just to give it some character just like that and so this started out as a um, white heart but I wanted a red heart <laughs> and I was not driving 45 minutes uh, to the next town to try to find it. And then of course, you know, they may be out. They may not even have it. I think uh, Hobby Lobby has these in pink, white, and red. So I wanted it to be red. And so anyway, what I'm gonna do, and I don't, I did not, let's see, do I have any over here? I want to, I also like dimension for my, uh, for my heart. So, and I, and I like to do, I like to use tumbling tower blocks, the ones that you get like the little Jenga blocks. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a coat of sealer on it. And this is the sealer. This is the liquid sealer, the varnish that I like to use. I like the gloss one. It's just a personal preference. And so I'm going to put a sealer on this. I'm going to put a sealer on this. And then also I'm going to um, put some uh, tumbling tower blocks to give it, to raise it up, to give it some dimension. And so that is going to be the middle of this of this wreath this wreath is um what this sign is going to go on so like i said that so that is oops, it's a little wonky so that is going to be the middle of the the wreath and uh so once i finish that i'm going to take a picture and i'm going to put it on my uh, on my page so that you can all see and uh, like I've mentioned before, I do design wreaths for a local business uh, in Brenham, Texas. That's where we are at. And uh, anyway, I just love it so much. Thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, we will talk to you soon. Join my group if you, or my texting list if you want me to send you a um, message, a text alert to say, you know, hey, I'm going live on Facebook or I posted a new video to YouTube. Um, anyway, join at 979-316-7944. Y'all have a great day. Thank you so much for being here and God bless.